where did you see God today? Not necessarily physical in form and flesh, but where did you see God at work today? What is something that happened throughout your day that you had to kind of go, wow, God is at work there. And that way, and at the end of those, when we mention them, we're going to clap and we're going to give credit and glory to God. We're going to acknowledge and say that we weren't so prideful and so busy that we didn't see your hand today. So where are some places that you saw God at work today? The opportunity to play another place. There was a guy named Jimmy at the uh, Satoma, the first place we went, and he was just sitting there, and he was kind of, uh, he, was just cla he was just clapping, and he was kind of afraid to clap, but uh, he looked up, and he just looked at me, and it was like, it's okay, you know, and about that time, several people stood up, and he really wanted he really wanted to praise God. He he really under I really felt like he understood what it was all about. And when he introduced himself to me, and it's like it's, it's almost like can we clap or can we sing? And it's like absolutely yes. We're here to worship and praise the Lord. And sometimes you're talking about kicking a baby, and sometimes it felt like. I've been kicked because I don't do enough myself. And to see somebody who was who really wanted to hear something, it was amazing. Let's give the Lord. The fact that we were outside tonight at the last place meant that we weren't just singing for the people who gathered outside, but for everybody that was walking by. And while we were singing, I looked and um, there was a fence. Um, at the parking lot and on the other side of the fence there was a man and he had been walking on the sidewalk and he just kind of stopped and um, he wasn't looking in our direction but he just kind of stood there for a minute and then he started off again and um, I was like well you know what the fact that he stopped um, you know he was listening whether he would admit it to anybody or not and I think it's just cool that even if somebody didn't choose to be there they would have heard it anyway It was just like a general blessing, but um, this woman, she had this little baby named Sh uh, you know Shania, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and it was just so sweet because you could just tell that it was like a blessing from God, and you're holding that child. Like, I know it's a general blessing, and it can be found everywhere, but it was just so amazing, like after you said that, to think, you know, you know there's still hope because, you know, she, she just... I don't know, it's just hope that the baby's still alive, like after you just said that, but it was hope in that child. So. And her mom was Sherry's, and God let me have the opportunity to, to pray uh, for salvation with her. So that was really neat that she accepted Jesus Christ tonight as her Savior, her mom did. And, and she had to quit college to have that baby, but she was she plans to go back. And uh, so she's just wanting. She asked for our prayers so that she would be able to provide for her baby. And, and so it was really neat to get to pray that she'd come to know she was in her sleep. Mm -hmm. Um, I, I was just kind of mingling around, and I walked up to a group where they had already started a conversation and they were just kind of listening and someone had asked if, that it was a group of children, someone had asked, do you live here or are you from the neighborhood? And they were like, oh no, we're just from the neighborhood. And I was like, wow. Even like, because it was all of, like, most of the people live there, but even the people in the neighborhood came and gathered with us and I thought like that was amazing. street there was there was this stop sign and so like obviously cars were stopping at the stop sign but I was kind of watching several of the cars stopped twice they stopped at the stop sign then they got around that bus and stopped again for a long time to listen and so even as they were driving by even though they couldn't stop and they had to get to wherever they still stopped to see 
Hey, look, just one on here. The scripture came to my mind. I was talking to Woody on staff there, and I later learned he's the security guy, basically. And he was telling me just how bad the neighborhood is. Mm -hmm. it, it, that ain't, to be honest with you, <laughs> backtracking and thinking about that, you know, if we were to say we're going to drop you off there, you know, in, in any other circumstance, you know, I think most of us probably would be pretty intimidated. We're hoping some of the moms and daddies don't find out where we've been. <laughs> <laughs> and we're not getting the spirit of timidity. or a spirit of you know? And the Lord, the spirit of the Lord, I feel like most, I don't think many of us were in complete panic, even though they're selling dope right there on the corner, you know? Uh, while y'all were singing at the same time. But I feel like the Lord really gave us strength today. Don't, don't you think so? Yeah. I mean, I really feel like that's from the Spirit. And so I want us to, to remember that. And also I want you to, want us to do this. Those faces and those people you met today, the mature thing for you to do is take those faces with you. Keep in your mind. And the best way to do that is before you go to bed tonight, I encourage you to grab a pencil or a pen and write them down. If you don't remember their name, write the situation down or not write the scenario. Write what you saw. And and remember, remember their faces. Maybe a good idea to be able to think, let's pray for them throughout the summer. Mm -hmm. Something like that. And I think that'd be a great thing for you to think, consider about doing. But uh, I would very